Hello there everybody and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 10. Now last episode I went all out with that crazy new segment for the intro, whereas this time I'm not going to do anything weird at all. Instead, I'm just going to interview the part of me that is apparently obsessed with Efo. Hello there, Joel. Thank you for coming, Joel. Now, why are you obsessed with Efo? I'm not. Well, that clears that up. Anything else to add? Yeah, he's obsessed with me. That's true. Any final remarks? Yeah, um, I'd like to ask everyone to subscribe. Sounds good. Go ahead. Please subscribe. Excellent. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Tune in next time where I interview the part of myself who likes to scratch dogs' bellies and call them good dogs. Now, every time we have a Hermitcraft meeting, I hop on the server and I try and do something productive. And oh boy, have I been productive this time. Hey, just me and you here. Oh, what is this, Joel? What are these chests? Why is the farm looking different? I got a lot of comments telling me how to fix my glow squid farm and I thought the best way to fix it is to get rid of it entirely and replace it with a different one. So I've adjusted a design here from Logical Geek Boy, who I'll put in the description, and it's basically the same except it's bigger and now adjusted for 1.20 as it works underground. And here is how it works. No axolotls are needed and I was running this for a bit last night and look at all that already. This farm works works so well, but only when there's nobody around loading in caves with water. But if we head up here to where we can AFK, look at it, look at them all dying. Oh my gosh, it's so much better than the old farm. And the best part, no drowned. And another bonus, I'm loading in the chunk of my glowberry farm. Amazing. But that now means you guys are useless. We don't need you. We can be by ourselves. No, no, we can't. Joel likes the axolotls. They gave Joel his first glow signs. But we have a new farm now. A new farm where we don't need them. But the axolotls are Joel's friends. We can't kill them. No, no, we shouldn't kill them. But we must. We, we must move on from the axolotls. No, no, Joel can't. Joel can't. He needs the axolotls. He needs their friendship. Why would Joel need friends when he has me? Joel doesn't need friends. No, bad thoughts go away. Bad thoughts. Bad thoughts go away. Yeah, you know what? That person who made that Reddit post might have a point. But today we are going to get working on covering up this ugly mess right here while also extending this staircase and going towards the bottom maybe not all the way we'll see how we feel it's probably going to be a lot of terraforming if I, I go all the way to the bottom and then where would i grow my trees my ugly trees but this farm should provide us plenty of glow ink sacks to sell which i'm really really happy about and speaking of selling and buying stuff i'm gonna head to spawn as i believe cleo is selling mending books and i i've been fixing these tools for way long i need mending so cleo's selling drinks for free diamonds and you buy a drink and you get a free book with the drink interesting and is she selling mending she is so let's buy five drinks we'll get a hot chocolate and some tea and take five free mending books also side note this is what cleo's done with her high tier books how am i going to sell mid tier books she's got a blooming cat cafe and everyone actually wants the books. Nobody's going to want to buy my mid-tier books. Anyway, I fixed up these pickaxes quite a few times, so hopefully this isn't too exp- Ah! Oh. <laughs> Oh boy, does it feel good to have fully mended tools. Yes. I don't want to talk about how many diamonds I've used to fix these. But anyway, this building, what should we start with? Should we start with the pathway down? I think we shall as we actually have a decent amount of tough at the moment as well as deep slate because I did it guys. I finished my strip mine. Look at it. It goes all the way down and it comes round and we have a strip mine and look. No, that's not right. Look, 57 diamonds. We got a decent amount of diamonds from it so far. That was in about 30, 40 minutes. So 57 diamonds, I'm happy with that. And now we've got mending tools. We can go back and get more anytime. I also made myself a little ender chest for the first time. So everything's looking up. But you know what's not looking up? Me right now, because I'm looking down at the staircase that's about to be built. And I'm also looking down on you because you are stupid. Anyway, let's build this staircase. Every single person who came to this town that's hoping I'd build a staircase in it, well, you guys are in for a treat because look what I did. I built a staircase. I also did some terraforming, but no one really cares about that. Oh, yeah, look at this. It's made the area look quite a bit neater now that that hole has gone. 
and we've got this staircase coming down. Oh, lovely. You can see here, we've got another little platform. This one's a bit shorter, but there's definitely some opportunities for maybe going off the side here as well. I've also just done some temporary terraforming for now. This will not be permanent. The staircase is going to continue on, but I don't want to just leave it looking all floaty. It's the same with this side. At the moment, this is just grass. I feel like we need to get some buildings here, as the grass just doesn't look good. And you may have seen this in the time lapse and wondered what it is. Well, this is where my post box is is going to go. I thought it would be a good, nice place to have it. But obviously, they're quite complicated and time-consuming to set up, so not sure when we're going to get it. But I've put my request in, and when it appears one day, I'm going to be so excited. But it's time to get working on the building going here. Now, I've come up with a bit of a weirder design for this, which I think is going to look cool, but also might look a bit funky. We're going to hand it over to future Joel, who's going to tell us a story while we gather those materials. What's the story about today, Joel? Well, Joel, I'm going to tell you about my day so far. I woke up, I uh, brushed my teeth, I had a cup of tea at about 11 o'clock, something like that. I then uh, made myself some lunch, and then I came and edited this video. Actually, I was editing the video in the morning as well, so skipped over a bit there. And that's basically it. It's really quite boring. Okay, guys, we are ready to get building this thing. Look how excited I am. I'm excited! And we've actually got to start out by clearing away some space up here. So back in a second once this is all cleared out. Oh, this is taking so much longer than I thought it was. Like, we're already about 50 minutes in and I'm still clearing stuff. Anyway, it's done, as you can maybe see. I'm not sure if you can see, but if you can, then it's done. Now to actually do some building. So for this build, we're gonna do it bit by bit, and we're gonna actually start out with just this entire wall here which is a bit of a challenge as it's quite a big wall, you'll see. We're actually going to start by removing some stairs and putting in some tuff instead as I want to do a little funky bit here, which you'll see later. But let's build the rest of the wall, shall we? Starting with the bottom section, which... As you can see, we've used some jungle wood and a mix of dark oak wood as well for no detailing yet because we're going to build the second wall. And that is part two here, which is a little stone wall with a bit of texturing on it. But what about part three? And look at that, another little wall. This one's got a bit of blue on it and also a balcony. Can I get on the balcony right now? Let's see. Can, can, can I jump down to the balcony? Uh, let me open that door and then I've got to try and... Fall. No, I've fallen all the way. I got on the balcony, guys. I got on the balcony. Look at it. Look how nice of a balcony it is. You're going to be able to look out and see stuff uh, in the future. Let's move on to the next section. And bam. Look at it. Look how it is. It, it, it is it's, it's good. We've added a bit of orange in. As you can see, we've got some orange windows as well as some cyan as well. And then we've got some iron trap doors and some stone at the top. It's, it's, it's kind of a funky texture, isn't it? I told you it's different. It's fun, though. I'm liking it. And we're actually going to finish off this wall now by adding in all the details on this side. Guys, I'm a big, big idiot. Look at this big, big idiot. Although I look quite little down there. I've decorated this entire wall. Look at it. Look how decorated it is. Well, it's not actually finished. And I forgot to click record on the replay mod like a fool. But here's some stuff we've done. We've added a cute little section down here. And we've also added some sort of, you know, cyberpunky industrial stuff there. And then finally, we've added the sign up here, which we were just about to finish. I guess you get to see the final coolest bit, which is the glow berries on here. However, we're adding some invisible item frames. If we zoom out, you can see the full thing. And I am loving this. It's very different to the other sort of builds we've had so far, which have been one blocky color. This one has a bit of stone mixed in. It's a bit more cyberpunky because it is, of course, my Glowberry office. But obviously, as you can see, we, we've just done this one wall. We've got to do the rest now. And the one that I'm sort of jumping next to here is quite awkward to time lapse as it's really close with all the other stuff. So how about we cut... And bam, look at it. It's now a wall. This is going to be the entrance or one of the entrances to how we can access our lovely glowberry bone mill machine here. I'm going for like an office vibe, like I said. So we've got these sort of big glass doors here and we'll have 
an interior at some point. But as you can see here, the roofs are actually starting to merge into each other. That's how close proximity all these builds are to each other. And how do these guys keep appearing? Go away. Not very cool. But we're actually going to complete the rest of the exterior in a cheeky time lapse. When's it going to start, though? It could start any second. It might start now. It might start now. It... I annoy myself sometimes when editing these videos. I listen back and I'm like, gosh, how annoying is that guy? But look, the timeless, you can kind of see the glowberries glowing in the background, which is fun. Anyway, we've added a little cyan bit here, which I think is quite cool. And then this bit here as well to protect the glowberry farm. And it's weird because these colors here, in my eyes, shouldn't really work. If we go into free cam for a second, you can see it's like acacia, cyan, and mangrove, and then also warped wood thrown in. What? This is weird. It's kind of like my old Mazalia days in Empire Season 1. But when you put it all together and have this sort of wacky, crazy building, I think it's really quite cool. I, I can't explain it. I'm just loving it. I'm loving the weirdness of it all. And I've also had to adjust the back of this building here. This was all just dirt before, but we've added another window into our train station, which yes, I've not done any interior yet, but I, I will at some point. And you probably also noticed in the time lapse, the rail. Oh my gosh, how did it get down there? Well, at the moment, it hasn't, as you can see. But we'll be connecting those up in a second. I've also just had the idea, ooh, this could be cool if I just had, you know, like a window you could, so you could see the glowberry farm. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to add that. But before we get decorating the interior, I went to visit Jem because she is collecting glow squid heads for some reason. And I had quite a few from lighting up some caves the other day. However, when I get there, of course, Efo's there. And of course, he's talking about me. Joel, you know, he was trying to light up the uh, his glow ink, you know, system. You can just put down pickles for that. <laughs> Always I talking like about pickles. me, Efo. Always hey! talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so, so obsessed. obsessed. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't help it. Jem, you I came over here. So he had to come running. Got some. Oh my goodness, you're the best. You're so you. magical. Thank you. What are those? Look at how I used it, Joel. Come see. Come see. Are those okay. mini pickle blocks? No, they're squid heads. Squid heads. Those squid heads. Oh. Look, go in the go in the fish market. Okay. Oh yeah! Oh, you know what? I I, I I'm sick Wait. of that noise for the glow squids at my base. So probably it's nice, <laughs> but at the same time, Sorry. never visiting no. again. Yeah. 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 Oh, Did they do that little yet. that little bell chime too? <laughs> yeah, isn't it lovely? That's like you just entered a shop, and you know the door when you yeah, open exactly, it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can have them on every door. Maybe I'm already annoyed with it. I gotta say. Yeah. I'm not, but I have it pretty low. I, have it I think it's great, Jeb. I think it's cool. It is Thank good though. You. Yeah. Your camel just made some kind of bodily function. Over there. I'm not sure what's going on. You might want to check. Jack, what about a camel head noise for the door? A camel no. noise. Should we kill yeah. the camel? No, 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 no. You leave South alone. South is resting. South. You know what I realized, Joel? What's up? You must really like camels because they got the long necks. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> You're so obsessed with neck kisses. It's actually a bit disgusting, Evo. Like, begging for them. Come here. No, 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 no. Different series, Joel. Different series. <laughs> different time. A different time. Oh, dear. I'd ship it. <laughs> when am I getting my mailbox, guys? Oh, do you have your spot picked out? I've got a spot, yeah. I messaged Pearl. Apparently, I was the only one. Oh. <laughs> I messaged her. Oh, okay, on. wait, wait. No, 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 no. no. Uh, Gem's on the list already. Okay, yeah. Gem, you probably messaged her before me then. No, I probably didn't. But oh, okay. I did pick out my lighthouse spot. Oh. Yeah. Nice that actually, it's coming up. Yeah, Gems I think it'll gonna fit. It's going to be like next, I think. We got Corellis on the list sure as well. I wasn't sure if it would fit, but I, I think it will fit. You built this whole lighthouse and you're not doing an interior, Jem. Oh, do you see what the snail did to it? How am I going to do an interior? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I can go up above the mailbox and think I'd do like one layer, I think. Yeah, you do it. Add a roof about here. And then yeah. I can, I can just forget about the rest. It. How would you do the interior on this thing, even if it's only like five blocks wide? Spiral staircase. Yeah, Have you tough. seen B-Dubs recently? Yeah, B-Dubs is B the expert. Of <laughs> He's pretty good at that kind of stuff. He yeah. makes things work in small packages, you know? That's right. <laughs> Joel, I won't make any short jokes for you because you're actually short. Oh! Jem's the short is here, actually. <laughs> is she? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely. It's not definitely. fair. There's a, there's a barely, gender barely. gap, actually. It's not the same. Wait, Tango, if I was to guess your height, yeah. I would say 5'9". <clears throat> Yeah, oh yeah. Nine? I, I'm I heard he's shorter nine. than me. I'm totally, yeah. Uh, some, some people say I'm 5'10. 
Joel, you've met yeah, me. Some people say I'm six foot. Next to him. Come on. <laughs> well, taller, this is not this is a mystery. Much. This is a mystery. That okay, five one. Take unravel. it. Take it's five one, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not five one, all right? <laughs> yeah, it's five one. It's five. I'm drawing the line. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, how short is Jem then? Jem's I'm like four short. two or something I'm... like that, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. I'll, 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 every time you say my name, Efo, I appear. It's like magic. And... <laughs> <laughs> Out of nowhere, and, dude. I know. And it was actually just a weird coincidence, but so, yeah. It's almost like... Uh, it, you pretty no, much no, mentioned my name in every it. sentence, so it's kind of like, any time I come towards you, it's going to be... That's true, yeah. that's true, that's true. Because you're obsessed <laughs> with me. And, and yet you arrive every time as well. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Wait, yeah, where, where did that come that from? Is, is, that that from <laughs> is that from your mic? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's uh, Jen, Jen's got a Do you special not know the story ability. behind this? I know the video, yeah, it's, it's Impulse, it is hot yeah, wings, but who's yeah. got it on their microphone? That would be Jem, yeah. Jem. <laughs> you she got the horn, the don't other... you, Jem? <laughs> oh, wait, oh, you're... Oh, oh, oh like, my I gosh, I need emergency. one of those. I need this immediately on a horn. <laughs> I need so, one of those. Skiz just heard it at his base. <laughs> 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 it does have a huge range. Oh Maybe my god. It. <laughs> it's so loud. So you guys are obviously aware that I'm uh streaming right now. Tell me yes, what I'm doing. With it. So is Tango. That... Hey, look it. What's up, Beans? What's up, Skiz? This is like the this is like the third minute we've been on the server together. What are you hey, the third um... minute? <laughs> <laughs> Roasted, Joel. Oh my god. I mean, I, I'm on <laughs> quite a lot, Skiz. It's just your time zones, isn't it? Oh, totally. It's just opposites. All right, we so we're about one new guy on at a time. They have to take shifts. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Usually, when we invite newbies, like they always hang out to, with each other. They become best friends, and uh, mm. you got to work on that, you two. Apparently not this time. Yeah. Sorry, Skiz. No. It's awkward. No, we're not. Nice. We're not doing it. So the thing, Joel and I had a talk. We're aware that his level of cool and my level of cool. We put that together. Something's going to supernova. It's going to make everybody feel insecure. Yeah, yeah. So we decided to take a step back. Okay. It was. It was. The, it was the high road. Hey, can you tell me? What you're is that? A, give me the horn. Give it to me. <laughs> you want me to give it to you? Don't do it, well, I, That's you, can't get that horn. It you won't get that. Back. I said, this is my favorite horn. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh. if we pass it around, we can get we can bypass the delay on it, and we can just. Keep oh my god! It. Is it per oh, person? Okay, wait, but by I the time so. you pick it up, it's gonna be. Is slow, it? Oh it? my god! <laughs> oh my god! It, oh my god! Wait, wait, wait! Stop! I gotta, <laughs> I gotta capture this. this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh let's, my let's, god! Let's, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We gotta get this. Oh right. my god! No, we gotta pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> oh my god! Quick! 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 Pass the horn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Now wait a minute. When does Impulse come on? Oh my god. When is, is he? Oh my god. He's not on. He's not on. Are you in my chat, Dibble Doc? I want, I really, I, I want oh, us to do that. Impulse is, he's beat red right now and not. He yeah. is, he does. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Impulse hates that that sound is taken from him, oh, which yeah, means, which he means made the Tango sound. and I love it. Oh my god! If he didn't want it, he shouldn't have posted it on the internet. It'll, it's going to stay. You embraced it pretty good, I thought. Right, I'm going to mm. head off. That was fun. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, I need to get myself one of those horns. God, that Efo constantly flirting with me, so obsessed. Anyway, before we get working on the interior of our new building here, I want to get a blue axolotl at some point. I've never had one before, and Hermitcraft seasons last quite long, so we've got a lot of time. I just want to see if they're real. I'll tell you what is real, my glow squid gains. Look at this. Ooh. But yeah, I'm going to try and breed up my axolotls as often as I can in the hopes of getting the blue axolotl. And to save on the entity count, I'm not going to kill them off. I'm, I'm going to collect them in buckets. All the failed blue axolotls. And this is probably the last time you're going to hear of this until I get the blue axolotl. I'll be recording it, but I'm not going to show it until I get the blue axolotl. Also, I'm loving the fact I don't have to kill cows anymore. Mining diamonds is so much more fun. Anyway, we're going to decorate the inside of here. And I want to do something I saw Jem do. Which is if I place all these moss blocks here. And then when I break it again... Whoa, some interior. How did that happen? Magic. Wow. We've done a bit of basic decorating down here. Nothing too crazy. I went for a very sort of like 
mossy theme, if that makes sense, because of the glow berries. We've got some actual glow berries hanging in here as well, next to our bone mill machine. Didn't know what to put here at the moment. I might save this for like some storage for bone mill in the future, but we have made way for a little place upstairs, which we're going to do right now. Also, I love this little viewing spot here. You get to see the glow squid, you get to see the rail. We should have like an animal just going on a loop on this rail or something like that. Anyway, I want to make like a sort of desk here. But first, let's fix this ugly ceiling, starting by doing a birch trim around the room and then adding some cherry in the middle. And let's do some more glow berries hanging down from here rather than, you know, like a, a regular chandelier as this is Joel's glowberry corp, of course. And then let's build a big desk because I'm a big guy in height. That's pretty cool. We'll have our, our chair there. Lovely. And in fact, let's make this a corner desk. Yes. And of course, I need a flower on my desk, plus some cherry bushes because, I don't know, oxygen. Let's display our permit behind us like so. And we'll put a diamond block and some glow berries. However, let's make them invisible. There we go. We've also added a horse head because we want to intimidate people. And you know what? This is a pretty good death. All we have to do now is actually sell some glow berries. As those are not from the profits, I made those myself. But as much as we work hard, we need to relax as well. And I've left a little spot here, as you can see, to build a cherry tree. Which if we look at the ground and spin around and unspin and... Whoa, oh, there it is. A nice cherry tree using the dark oak planks again. We can sit on our bench here and just enjoy it. Lovely. Guys, I'm scared to use Google Translate anymore. Can someone tell me what would be best to put on this sign to say Glowberry Industries? In Japanese, of course. Whichever alphabet, etc. would be most appropriate. But I want to quickly connect up these rail systems and also decorators. I really want to make that window now. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Coming through the rail, seeing the glowberries growing. Yes. Let's clear out the rest of this and decorate it a bit. And after a while, we're done. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Let's hop in the minecart and click the button. And this is quite loud, but off down the tunnel we go. And then we've got the glowberry farm there as well. And we are out down here. Oh, it's good. I definitely think maybe I should have some sort of animal on this or something going round. But as you can see, we went and bought some frog lights from Etho's shop at Spawn and decorated the farm a little bit with some deep slate around it. And it's turned out really cool, I think. As for the tunnel, we've used some end rods and copper rods to decorate as well as this stained yellow glass. And this whole rail system is really coming together. I love it. This whole building, in fact has turned out so well. Now we got the rails as well. Unfortunately though, guys, that is all we've got time for today. How about some shaders to wrap things up, eh? Ooh, another shaders, Joel? You wouldn't. I would. Look at it. There it is. And oh, how about another one? And no, I've, I've run out. That's all of them. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hermitcraft. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.